So here is a bone stock M140i, and here is Sam. Sam is our chief operating officer. This is his daily. Believe it or not, Sam doesn't really have an interest in modifying cars, but he's off sick today, so we're gonna modify it for him without him realizing. I don't know whether this is gonna go good or bad, so he's either gonna love it or he's gonna hate it, but it's gonna look a lot better either way. Here are all the parts we're gonna be putting on it. Full Zero gloss black kit, the Zero spoiler, Zero splitter, Zero side skirt, Bimex stud conversion kit, floating center caps, spacers, high back springs, because this car is extremely high, M performance door pins, magna plates, TRE pre-preg carbon fiber wing mirror covers, genuine M side badges, a little added bonus. We're also gonna be putting on a stage one boot mod three tune onto the car today as well, because I think it's gonna be quite funny i'm gonna get him to drive it and see whether he realizes that it's tuned because that's gonna pump the brake horsepower up over 400 brake horsepower so yeah that's gonna be quite interesting so what are we gonna get started with first then kai we'll get started with the springs because what is that big arch gap right longest job gets done first let's get cracking so the springs that are going to be going on the car today are eye back 25 mil springs reason why we're going for these is because it's going to give it a nice oem plus drop to the point where he's not going to be smashing his splitter off sam is one of them people that doesn't like a car which is too modified and too different from oem so this is going to feel similar in terms of ride quality We're on a little bit of a time scale with this. Jack has told Sam to work from home because he's ill. And he said that we need this car as we're gonna do a service on it. Sam also is coming to collect the car in three hours. So we need to get a move on. Whilst Kai's cracking on with the springs, I am gonna get started with getting the Bimex stud conversion kit on the car. because so I'm gonna do all the easy things whilst Kai does the hard stuff. Just gonna quickly explain why a stud conversion kit is a nice little mod to do. Essentially, they just replace the standard wheel bolts with a stud, makes it easier to get the wheel on and off, and then once they are fitted, they also look a little bit nicer, and they're super easy to install, so let's get them installed now. What you wanna do is grab your stud, grab a little bit of Loctite, and then you wanna dab a tiny little bit of Loctite on the stud, like so. Get your stud screwed in. So I'm gonna fast forward this, but I'm gonna do the rest of them quick. Right, now they're all in, I'm gonna get them tightened and torqued up to 30 newton meters of torque and it's just literally a five mil little Allen key. Tighten them up, torque them up. Best thing to do whenever you're doing studs, if you are gonna do them yourself, make sure you double check that these are tight after 24 hours after your Loctite is set. I'm gonna repeat the same process around the rest of the car. So I've just finished up putting the stud conversion kit on. Kai has got one of the front springs in already. He's just cracking on with the other one. The rears are nice and easy, literally a two minute job. I am gonna put on the black M badges. What I'm gonna do is tape the edges up of this badge. Also, don't judge me because I'm not a car fitter, but I'm showing you jobs which I'm happy to do myself. And you fellas and females will be able to do this at home yourself as well. Pow, she's measured up. That means I can get that badge off. Heat up, not too hot. Reason why you heat it up is that essentially helps the 3M get a bit more loosey goosey. As you can see, look, the badge is moving. Just gonna attempt to get trim tool underneath it. There we go, she's off. Now we've got a bit of residue left over, which we're gonna need to peel back and off. Grab your new BMW badge, peel back the back in, and now we're just gonna get that lined up. What I'm gonna do is take it off of that perfectly. She's on, take your template off. And that's it, same again on the other side. So I've just finished the badges. Kai's also finished getting the front springs on, which I'll show you now quickly. As you can see, the eye back springs are now in and Kai's gonna work on getting the front bumper off now because we're gonna be putting on magna plates to allow the front plate to be popped on and off so it'll look nicer in photos. And then we're also gonna be getting these little plate holes refinished and having the bumper sprayed so it's all nice and clean. Okay, so now the front bumper's off, we are gonna be installing the magna plate. So we're gonna get that stuck down to the actual plate. 
stick the magnet plates on the back of the plate first, that way we can line up the new magnets on the back of the bumper. After you've done all that, you add a little plaster which you put over them and it just secures them in place a little bit further. Time to get some spacers on. Luckily, Jack had a spare set of spacers from his F87M2, so we haven't got to use a new set. These are 10 mil fronts and 12 mil rears. It's genuinely very easy to fit a spacer. All you want to do is make sure that your hub is nice and clean. Pop a little bit of copper grease around the edge of this bit where the wheel sits over it, just so it makes it easier to get the wheel on and off. And they literally just slot on like that. So we'll go around and do the rest of them. Kai is literally just finishing up getting the front bumper on. And here we have a set of BMW floating center caps, which is quite nice. They're weighted to make sure the BMW sign is always upwards. And Sam's pretty OCD, so he's gonna absolutely love them. I'm gonna get them popped in the wheel now. All we have to do is pop the <laughs> original center cap out just like that. Pop that in. Just pop in and push in like so. And then now when I roll the wheel, the BMW logo is always facing up. Now I'm gonna do the same on the rest of the wheels whilst Kai's finishing that up. He's almost finished doing the springs now. He's about to start on the rear. He's taking ages though. Yeah. One rear spring has been fitted. We're about to start getting in the second one. Doing very well on time though. We have got around 45 minutes left. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe because over 90% of you haven't subscribed to this channel and you're still watching the videos because it says that you're regular viewers. So if you are a regular viewer, just hit the subscribe button because you don't realize how much this helps us. And the more subscribers that we get equals the more amount of money I get paid. Because Jack's basically got an agreement with me. He said for every subscriber, he'll up my annual salary by one pound. Behind me is a brand new product line that we have just bought out and I'm very excited to show you. Introducing AutoFresh. This is a new air freshener brand that we've just released at Auto ID, and here is our first drop of air fresheners. Not only do they smell nice, they also look really cool. So we've got a Golf R, we've got my M4, we've got a G87M2, we've got an F87M2, a nice, simple Auto ID air freshener, which is just black on black. And if you're watching this video and you have an M140i, we've got and then 140i. It smells lovely, it smells like angels. These two are just extremely manly smelling. So the M4 smells like man and smells like horsepower. And the F87 M2 smells like burnt rubber, but in a good way, in a masculine way. Yeah, make sure you check them out. The link to the products will be just down below. I think I've timed that absolutely perfect because Kai has just finished doing the suspension. So now we're gonna get the wheels back on and finish the body kit. I'm gonna jump in the car, do the M door pin replacement pin things. Yeah, then we need to download some horsepower. One off. So now we've got the new one, gonna face it so the M is like that. They literally just slot on like so. There we go. Same again on the other side. Kai's literally just finishing off the front splitter, then we're gonna drop the car down on some ramps, get the side skirts on, get the mirrors on. Kai's now doing the side skirts. Whilst he's doing the side skirts, I'm gonna be changing out these M Sport sort of gloss black mirrors that he's got. So we're going to be swapping them out just for the normal carbon mirrors rather than the M Sport ones because it's not an M car. So it can do with some just nice OEM style carbon mirrors. So you want to get a nice grip around this sort of area to so get your hand around like that. And then you want to pull towards you like this way. So, and then that'll pull it off. And if you do it correctly and in a nice sort of swift motion you won't snap any of the clips or anything like that essentially with your new carbon mirror cap basically the same process just reversed just want to make sure you get it all clipped in nicely so whilst kai's finishing off the skirts at the moment i'm now going to get the zero spoiler lip on 
Essentially, it just sits on the boot lid like that. You line it up with the little sort of bumps in the spoiler that you've got here. So what you want to do is prep it with the 3M tape provided, which I'm now going to pop on, essentially clean up the boot lid with some alcohol and then stick it down. And we're also doing very good on time, like extremely good. I'm currently working on getting the boot mod free sorted because Jack's got to buy it. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So just prep the spoiler with the 3M tape. And then now I'm just going to give this a quick wipe over. So you just want to peel an edge back just like that and fold it, peel, peel. And then you just want to stick it all down. Rear spoiler fitted. We've got 20 minutes left, so now we've got to quickly plug in the car and get it tuned. The car is finished exterior wise. We've now plugged the car in because we're going to download some horsepower. It's, pro it's probably gonna push it to uh, like 420 brake-ish. So yeah, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm just waiting for the activation key because Jack's just bought it. Then we'll activate that, go take it for a drive quickly, and then he's literally gonna be back in a minute. So he'll come back whilst we're driving it around, and then we'll pull in, and then he'll be like, what? So Sam did not end up coming in yesterday as he was feeling a little bit too rough, but he is on his way in now and I can't wait to show him what we've done because he's got no idea at all. Jack loves the spinny air. Uh... No, it's just satisfying that the wheel is just there. Yeah, so... we've not gone mad with it, but he's been wanting to keep this car stock and we can't have that all already. So... No, had to be done. Had to be done. A few moments later. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, he's clocked it straight away. <laughs> Yeah. Well, whilst we were doing the work, we thought. Where's we my might... plate gone as well? Looks better without them. Well, to be honest, we've 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 not just done these bits. We've done quite a few other little things. Uh, and... them soul caps. No, <laughs> change them as well. All right, we'll give you a bit of a rundown. Actually, no, do you want to give them a rundown? Or right, what essentially, what, what we've done, we've lowered it on Ibex Springs for you, with spacers, BMW floating centre caps. Nice. You like them? Yeah, I do like them. He's actually. been gassing you, them up. I've actually <laughs> been them for a while. Uh, you've got TRE prepreg mirrors. You've also got zero side skirts, zero spoiler lip, TRE. Oh, you've even got a little carbon bit there. Yep. And also we've done the M performance black badges, which you can't really see because it's a bit dirty. Yeah, no, it needs a bit of a And obviously you like little bits, didn't you? So we've done M performance door pins. Oh, nice God. little one. And uh, and there's an air freshener, and, but. And also, Sam, it was clean, but obviously I haven't quite done the springs yet to drive it to, oh, to test it. So. Are you happy with it, by the way? I'm very happy. Thank you very we much. We was a bit worried whether you would hate it or not. No, you know what? Like, although it's just a daily. I, I mentioned Jack a couple of times. And, I didn't want to put a kit on it or something, so. Stud conversion. Yeah, no, I, I want a stud conversion oh, kit. I want a stud. That, that would be good yeah. for track days, that one. <laughs> Oh, track day track daily. Day, track days I'll do. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to go for a quick drive yes, and see what yeah. The, yeah. see what the springs are like? Yeah, I think I think it's worth having a go because the springs the springs drive a lot nicer. I, I did say I didn't want to change the springs just because I like the uh, comfort, so yeah. yeah. It does drive a lot you better now though. Back if they're a bit uh, if they're a bit hard. It handles better. I don't feel that different to be fair. Oh is it not? Wait, why is that so fast? Wait, that's actually Quick, bro. The springs make a bit of a difference, like in terms of putting the power down. Oh my god, that feels quicker. Put a little tune on it. But on the counter to that, I know you don't really like tuning and stuff, but we've put a boot mod on it. I've turned cold start off. But it's a <laughs> God, that is so much faster. What <laughs> that is sketchy on these roads bro. <laughs> Open dip. That was only sport. Yeah, don't bin it. don't put it in sport plus. Wow, well that that <laughs> that's was gonna, that too far. Yeah, that's gonna be like straight into a bush. But it makes it better on miles to the gallon as well. Makes it better. Yeah, providing you're not driving 
like an idiot. Not dinging it everywhere. Yeah. So, that's the... Oh, but that is so much quicker. <laughs> These cars are so sick. Well, I'll give it a little bit because you're in the car. I mean, I just <laughs> felt it, like, straight away. I don't really gun it that much, to be honest, so... It's probably where I'm not used to gunning it and I just felt it... Kick just it. felt a lot different. Nice one, Sam. Sweet, bro. After I filmed a video, we had a sit down with Sam, because obviously when we had the cameras on him, we was like, do you actually like it then, Sam? And he actually really liked it. He just didn't know how to react, because obviously there's cameras on him or whatever, and Sam ain't used to being on YouTube. But he was buzzing, which is really good. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. We've got a lot more coming with the channel. Make sure you subscribed if you haven't already. If there's any particular videos that you guys want to see, just drop a comment down below, and then I'll make sure I check it out. Every Sunday at 4pm, we release a new AutoID video, so make sure you subscribed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.